So in this video, we're going to start to select some of the clips. I'm going to hold the option and click on the green circle at the top left of Final Cut to resize this. We don't need to see that script anymore. As you get more familiar with navigating around this browser, you can see that Final Cut is pretty powerful and pretty quick to load everything. So let's actually look at how to break down these clips even further. For this overtime video, I'm going to use scene four and organize some of these clips. And this is something I'm going to, I'm applying all this to this specific short film, but you can apply it to any of the clips that you see. So to avoid getting to a point where things are so overwhelming, these keywords actually is pretty advanced and can get kind of overwhelming. I want to show you a more basic way of organizing, which is simply by marking the clips you want to keep and use as green or favorite clips and we'll delete or reject the clips we know we're not going to use. And what's really cool about this is the keywords we used previously were applied to an entire clip. But you can actually mark specific parts of a clip and reject some of it versus others. So let's see this actually in action. The first thing just to review, you can click on a clip to select that entire clip. And you'll see at the bottom, we have one of the 23 clips listed and it's two minutes, 16 seconds, and 15 frames. So that's a long clip. And if I scrub through it, there's actually a couple takes in this clip. If I click on the next one, same thing, we can see that's a minute and 45 seconds. So this is an instance where zooming in can help. So click your clip appearance and filtering menu. And if you're set to all, we actually want to drag this over to the right. And I find for this uh, specific scene that we're working on, and actually most of the time when I'm trying to mark as favorite or rejected, I like to usually hover around 10 or 5 seconds. And I'll scroll up to the top. We'll start up at the beginning here. So I'm going to skip the first clip because this is just a sound effect. And we're going to look at this next clip here. And I'm going to scrub across it. I can already see it's not something that I need. If I play this clip, you'll see what happens here. He's just goofing around with the pizza or the food that's there. So this is something that has nothing to do with anything that I'm working with. So this entire clip can go. So I'm going to click on the clip and hit the delete key to reject that clip. Now, don't be afraid. All of these markings that we're doing, like in previous videos, it's non-destructive. I actually have this set to hide rejected clips. If I click on this and say all clips, Notice there's our, our rejected clip. It just put a red bar at the top to signify that that is a rejected clip or a rejected portion of the clip. Looking at the next clip, we can see they have the marker at the beginning. And if I scrub through this clip, right here, it's when we want to see him starting to walk around the corner there. So I'm actually going to click and drag to the left to select all this beginning area when they had the marker and everything show up and hit the delete key to reject that portion. Because just this area is probably what I want to keep. And then scrubbing through it, they're going through the whole scene, he walks away, and then he's done, and this area at the end is a little bit dead, so I can just click and drag across that portion and hit the delete key to reject that part. So you can see how we mark these spots as rejected just by clicking and dragging across parts of the clip and then hitting the delete key to reject it. I'm going to go up and say hide rejected. You can use the shortcut control H. You might find yourself switching between these. So those are good shortcuts to learn. But I'm going to hide those rejected clips. And we're just going to keep the parts I haven't deleted. So this is one way to edit. You can scrub through your clips and find all the parts that you want to delete or reject. This is actually just one frame. I know I'm going to reject that, so I'll delete that part. And scrubbing across this clip, looks like it's the same scene. I'll click and drag back, delete the marker. Scrubbing across this clip, I can see he does the hand and then walks away. And then right here, we can delete that. All right, same thing. Next clip here. I know he walks around the corner, so we're going to click and drag. And I'm selecting all the parts I want to remove that I know I'm not going to use. Same thing at the end here. He walks by. Director yells cut. 
see, this little portion is nothing, so I'll click and reject that. I can hear the director yell action right about there, so I can select this part, hit delete to reject it. So I'm not going to go through all of this here with you. I think you understand how you can reject a portion by selecting it and then hitting the delete key. We can also do the reverse where we select a part and mark it as a favorite. So if I know I want him walking up here, I can click and drag across this clip down to the end and then hit F to mark it as a favorite. And you'll notice with a favorite marking, you get a little green line across the top. Same thing, I can click and drag across this one. Right after he leaves, I'll hit F to mark it as a favorite. And you could certainly look through your different takes and figure out which ones you really like, or you can go through and delete the ones you don't like. So you kind of want to choose what works best for you. For me personally, I find I'm marking clips as favorite, and I don't find myself deleting the rejected parts too much. I don't, I don't find myself doing that as much. Because when you mark something as a favorite, you actually have an option here under your sorting menu to view just the favorite parts. And then you can weed out all the stuff that's not been marked as favorite this way. But in this case, we'll go back to hide rejected, and we can go to the next part. So just to review, you can select parts and hit delete to reject the portion or you could select a part and hit F to mark it as a favorite. But what if you accidentally mark something the wrong way? I'm gonna click this entire clip and just hit the delete key to reject it. Well, I didn't mean to reject that entire clip. I thought maybe a, a smaller portion was selected. So I can actually go up here to show just my rejected clips and I'll see all of those little rejected portions. And here's that entire scene that I rejected on accident. So with that entire scene selected, I can actually hit the F key if I wanted to mark it as a favorite, or I can hit the U key to unmark that selection. All of these shortcuts, by the way, you can go up to the mark menu, and they're under here as well, favorite, reject, or unmark. But in this case, I'm just gonna hit the U key to unmark that section, and I'm gonna go back to hide rejected, and now we get that, that clip is back. So if you mark something incorrectly, you can always unmark it. Same thing, if I select a portion here and hit the F key, I mark it as a favorite. If I didn't mean to do that, I can just click and drag across that part and hit U to unmark it. And notice that green selection is removed. So that's how you can unmark something if you marked it incorrectly. The next part I wanna show is we've selected just a portion of this clip you can click and drag the edges of a selected box there to change the length of that selection. You can definitely do that. Nothing wrong with doing that. You can also use your keyboard and a shortcut Option X to clear the selection. So if you don't like this box here, just use Option X and it unmarks that selected portion. So you click and drag to select part. Option X will remove that box. And, and with these boxes, you can also select multiple parts of a clip. If you hold the command key down and click and drag, you'll notice now we have two selections on this one clip. You can go down and command, drag, command, drag, command, drag. And now I've made five separate selections from that one clip. And if I wanted to, I could hit F to mark all of those portions as favorite. I could use U to unmark them or the delete key to remove or reject those portions. So you can see how this can get really quick depending on, on what types of markings you like to make to make a, a bunch of selections really quick and then select them. But then same thing, option X will clear a selection. Uh, so if you make a selection here, you didn't want this one anymore, just use that option X keyboard shortcut to unmark that selection. And you can always go up to the mark menu as well. And there's options in here to clear the selected ranges, which is what we did. Um, you can also go in and, and set your in and out points, essentially your range start and out points using those keys as well. So uh, in this case, I'm gonna command click. I have both of these selected and I'm gonna use option X to unmark or unselect those portions. All of this has been done using the mouse. 
but your keyboard is extremely powerful. We looked at using J, K, and L to navigate around the clip. So J to rewind, K to pause, uh, space bar to play. We've seen those clips so far. But some other keys that you'll want to add into this are the I and O keys. I for in point and O for out point. So I just hit I to mark the in point. I'm going to use L to fast forward, K to pause, and O to mark an out point. And then I could use the F key to mark it as a favorite. I could use the U key to unmark it. Or I could press delete to reject that portion. So again, spacebar to play, I'm going to hit I. While it's playing, you can play this back in real time. Hit I to mark an in point, O to mark an out point. You can then use Command Shift I to set an additional in point, no, no, and Command Shift O to set an additional out point. So that's how you can make multiple selections of a clip on the fly. So take a moment to go through an entire scene or an entire collection of clips and mark the portions of the clip that you want as favorites and reject the portions you don't want using the delete key. Once you've marked an entire scene with both favorite and rejected clips, it can really help to narrow down the clips you actually want to use. You're kind of weeding out all of the junk and keeping just the clips you want. Now, this is a great way to organize. You can also apply the same selection and markings to keywords. So before we did apply keywords to entire clips, but you could select a portion of a clip and then use Command K to bring up your keyword viewer and you can add a keyword to just the selected portions of a clip. This little blue line that's going across the top of a clip indicates what portions of that clip have a keyword applied, which makes sense. We added keywords for every clip so they all have that blue line going across the top. In the next video, we're going to look at how to use the inspector to add more metadata to our clips.